Okay, so this one's going to be about Big Ben Roethlisberger, who sits, who on TV comes out there just putting his teammates under the bus. And yeah, he's won rings, and yeah, he's been to the Super Bowl, and he's a Hall of Famer, and he's had a great career. And depending on who you talk to, and it's not just an age thing, he arguably is considered better than Terry Bradshaw because as a quarterback, let's be realistic, he ain't played with no steel curtain. If he had had half of that lineup, in his career, he probably had rings pushing past Brady. He have them on both hands. That's realistic, considering he's won two out of three. And he's had to, you know, with the, with the, with the less than – because that's how from Troy Palomaro and James Harrison, Jerome Bettis, what have you, and Tony Brown, and he had uh, Heinz Ward. But he hasn't been – had had near half the dominant cast that, that, that Bradshaw had. But that's another story. But let's just stick to this one. How is this, how is this, oh, ham hawk head turkey going to come on TV and just put his teammates under the bus like that? He throws some bad Aaron passes, you know. Um, he threw one of the worst interceptions I have ever seen in my life. And when I'm talking about one of the worst ever, I'm talking about playing Nerf football in the streets even. I mean, that was just like, he sat there and just threw that rock like that to how they lost that game. Up in Denver and gonna throw that lame duck like that. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I'm like, come on now. You gonna put somebody on the bus? You need to put yourself and stay under the bus and roll over a couple of times because you look pretty pathetic the last two weeks. You got a, a you got a gift in Jack against Jacksonville because you know Blaine Bortles they stay lame and they didn't quit on him. And then and then you turn around and go to Denver and. You stunk at the end. That's that's on you. So, uh, you know, but you can't be putting your teammates on the bus. I don't care how many rings you got. That's no privilege in that. You can't be doing that, Big Ben. You got to be trying to edify and lift those guys up. You just got them losing Le'Veon Bell, who don't want no parts of the team no more. So you need to keep all the, the people straight, you know, and make your run. But he sits up here and he wants to talk that talk. Like, yo, that's not a good look at all. I'm running them off like that. Because those cats can, Antonio Brown, you know Antonio getting diva mode. And Antonio is, if not the best receiver, one of two to three best on the top two. And you know he'll shut on you if you So you cannot afford to be saying stuff that's ticky tacky turkey move. Just can't do it. You know, Roethlisberger, of all people need to be chill, take some chill on that. You know, they're going to be tested up when they play the charge and they got New England coming up. So, see what his mouth will be. His mouth lands him. If it don't backfire, that's my tape for free. We're going to cover some out.